Andrew's mouth. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Watching live on MNN here in Manhattan, as well as everybody watching online at thechrisgethardshow.com, as well as everybody else downloading this in the future. Welcome to the show. Happy to have you. Let's hear for the LLC, the greatest band. Paul Jackson has played us in tonight. Manning the internet for us, the man behind the plant, who has not been behind a plant in many months now. The man behind the plant, hanging his head in shame. Mimi on the hoops, as always. How are you, Mimi? Mimi! I'm very, very excited for tonight's show. I'm glad you're all here in the studio. I am going to call it right now. We are about to have the best show we've ever had. We are. I'm very confident in this one. I don't often say that, and I almost never say that on the air. But I think a lot of shows, this is true, panels, a lot of shows people point to a specific episode, like Seinfeld. People say, oh, the Chinese restaurant episode. It's when everybody knew that show found its footing, right? Like the Sopranos, like they... They had like the college trip one, and everybody was like, oh, yeah, right, like, exactly. And Breaking Bad, I would say, it was like the ATM machine. Everybody's like, that episode was crazy. Tonight is that episode for us. We have come up with the, after 85 tries, I think we're finally about to nail it. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we're playing a very simple game. Sitting to my left is the resident hunk slash weirdo of the show, Andrew Hot Dog Parish. Tonight we'll be playing a game that is as simple as it gets but will be the height of not just this show, but of comedy overall, and I would argue entertainment in general. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we involve you in a game entitled, What is in Hot Dog's Mouth? <laughs> playing this. We're going to need you to play it on the phones and hopefully we can involve the studio audience as well. Our panelist, Bethany Hall, how are you? I'm pretty good, thanks. Now, are you excited at the idea that you might win an object that was previously held in Andrew Hot Dog Parish's <laughs> mouth? Yes. I did previously tell you you wanted to bring baby wipes to clean the object. I said that you should not do that. It's less funny. But I brought them anyway. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. We have to, I am not going to allow you to send objects to people that have been in somebody else's mouth. No, that will happen. We're gonna Random Maxine, welcome. How are you? Okay, okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> what type of object would you like to win out of Hot Dog's Mouth? Um, something useful. Something useful. <laughs> something practical. Not possible. Not possible. <laughs> Hot Dog says not possible. Human fish, as we enter this competition, what is on your mind? Uh -huh. Early birdie versus... Dirty 30. <laughs> Early birdie versus Dirty 30. Human fish, who wins? Dirty 30. Human fish, you're being so aggressive with the hot dog. Not aggressive. Okay, human fish, very happy about being aggressive. Two hot dogs. This microphone not turned on. Jersey Dave, ladies and gentlemen. Jersey Dave, fixing the mic, turning it on. Shannon O'Neill. We've done many things on this show. What are your hopes for this one? Because my hopes, top of the mountain. Just to be out by midnight. Just to be out by midnight. <laughs> the absolute <laughs> opposite of my enthusiasm. This is uh, an hour no. of your life. No, this will be fun. I can't wait to see what's in his mouth. <laughs> oh, God. You couldn't be less sincere. Shit it's been in there for a while now. Yes, like... he has been holding an object right now. 
and making, I think, his first appearance on the actual panel. Yes. He used to review fruit for us. And I think the last time we saw you, you were hosting part of our election special. It was just you and an insane Asian man named yeah. Don, yeah, who had wandered into the studio. We're trying to get our own show. You are. Yeah. But Dan Clyde, is it true you thought he was an actual cast member of the show? I thought I would be weird if I was the one that was like, hey, this guy's weird. <laughs> so yes. I, yeah, so I played along thinking like, oh, that's part, this is part of the show. Yes, because you, you join our show, and you're, we love having you here, but you're not here like every week, like some mm. people. Yeah. So you were just like, oh, this is a Another guy from the Getzer Show cast. Like I know, yeah, it's like Chris likes weird stuff. So this man, they must be friends. And you, and, <laughs> we should be clear. During the election special, you and Don were the only people on it for about 35 straight minutes. Just yeah. you two. Yes, yeah, it was just us chatting away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So here's how it works. Panelists, we're just gonna go around and callers. We need you to do this as well. Two one two nine nine six one four one three. You call up. You get to ask Andrew Hot Dog Paris one yes or no question. He will nod yes or no in response to your question. At that point, you have to make a guess as to what is in his mouth. So it's on all of us to remember what has been said and established about this thing so far, a la 20 questions. Mm. If you guess what is in his mouth, you win the object in his mouth. If it happens to someone in this room, you get to walk away with it tonight. If not, we will mail it to you tomorrow. After <laughs> I clean it. Not after you clean it. <laughs> Nothing will be cleaned. In fact, no, no, no. Willie got them. No, Willie. Willie got them. Lonely Willie. Lonely Willie got them. Do not give them back, Bethany. We're not cleaning them. Bethany, we're not cleaning any of these objects. We're not doing. We're not doing that. It's not as funny. It's a comedy show, and clean objects are not as funny as, as dirty objects. True. Let's start with the phones. Cody from Salt Lake City. How are you? Oh, uh, hi. It's good to be back on you know calling the show. Yes, very glad to have you. You're kicking things off. Let's ask a yes or no question. What do you what do you want to ask about the object that Why can't made that is going on right here? <laughs> we can, we've cut to a different camera. No one needs to know what's happening with the other camera. No one needs to know. Cody, what question do you have? <laughs> Cody, what question do you have about the object in Andrew's mouth? <laughs> Let's get well, Cody. What's your question for Hot Dog? <laughs> everyone knows. Everyone needs to calm down in the studio. That's not well, happening. The magic of TV. We are cutting away from that. Do not cut back to what's happening on that central camera. Do not do it. It is taking a while. Time for it's taking away the focus of the, the entire episode. Yeah, see, yeah, this, is, this, this needs to be our Chinese restaurant. It is. <laughs> Cody, what is your question about the object in Hot Dog's mouth? Is it sharp? Is it sharp? Can yes you hear or no? Me? Is uh, it sharp? Just yes or no. Shake your head, hot dog. Mm. Okay. No, he's saying it's not sharp. What is your guess? Okay. I okay. The sound's cutting out. My guess is a bottle of whiteout. Is it a bottle of whiteout? <laughs> okay. Yes. That's a good guess. We know that it's not sharp and that it's not a bottle of whiteout. Dan Klein, a yes or no question for Hot Dog Parish. Uh, okay. is, is it edible? Is it edible? No. Okay. Your guess. Uh, is it a, a quarter? A quarter. Okay, we know it's not edible. It's not sharp. It's not a quarter. It's not white out random Maxine. A yes or no question. Um, um, oh. oh. Sorry. Random Maxine, this Just is the whole episode. Random Maxine. <laughs> this is the whole episode. Uh, I realized that. I, is it, is it, um, is it currency? Is it currency? Okay. So we know it. Yeah, yeah. Not only is it not a quarter, it is not any other type of currency. <laughs> okay. Is it? Is it a portable toothbrush? A portable toothbrush. <laughs> it is not a portable toothbrush. Let's go back to the phones. <laughs> Celeste from Ontario, welcome to the show. <laughs> what, Celeste, are you there? Hello. Yes. How are you? Excellent. How are you? I'm good. You have a chance right now to win an object in Hot Dog Paris's mouth. You can ask him one question, yes or no, and then you have to guess what it is. Oh my gosh, can I cash in my yes or no question for a guess question? What? What? Yeah, you can do both. You can ask a yes or no, then guess. Yeah, you ask a yes or no, and then guess. Or you can just guess if you want. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> it's high stakes shit. I understand your nerves. <laughs> Is it, uh, does it have monetary value? <laughs> okay, even though we know it's not currency, yes. <laughs> does it still have monetary value? 
Like, could you buy it? Yes or no? You can buy anything, right? No, could <laughs> I guess it, it is worth something in the sense that it is an it object. It has monetary value. So it does have some monetary <laughs> value. Good. Okay. So, Celeste, your guess, quickly. It's so unhelpful. Um, is it a figurine of an... It's like a little army figurine. Is it an army figurine? I think that means you're close. Close. Celeste, you're very close. We know it's something like an army figurine. Let's go to one of our favorite callers, Andres from Massachusetts. We have just established it is close to an army figurine. Andres from Massachusetts, what is your guess as to what this object could be? You ask one yes or no question, then you have to guess. Okay, so is it, is it a toy? Like, is it, uh -huh. is it a toy of some sort? Sure. Paris says sure. Hot dog is saying sure. He sounds non-committal. It could be used as a toy. We know it's not sharp. It's not white out. It is not a quarter currency. It does have monetary value. Andres, we know it's close to a figurine. It could be used as a toy. Hmm? Can I say something else? Really, you're not supposed to, but sure. It's a. It's not a rough and tumble toy. Oh gosh. <laughs> is that a cat? Is that a category of toys? It is not a rough and tumble toy. <laughs> we, we have just clarified things greatly. It is not a rough and tumble toy. Andres, your guess. Uh, is it a toy car? Is it a toy car? That's rough and tumble. Yeah, that seems rough That's and tumble That's a little to rough me. and tumble, Andres, but good guess. Good guess. Let's go to Luke from Chicago, another of our teenage <laughs> viewers, another member of the Rat's Nest. Luke, Luke from Chicago, your yes or no question, and then you get a guess. Um... Is it a superhero? Is it related to superheroes? No, it is not. It's not related to superheroes. Luke, what is your guess as to what it could be? Um, <laughs> man, that like really like eliminates all my options. Not at all. That's <laughs> definitely not the case. That is definitely not the case. There are many other things besides superheroes. Luke from Chicago, what is your guess? Is it a... <laughs> is it a bouncy ball? I don't know. A bouncy ball. It is not a bouncy ball. I'm going to take a guess. That would make me choke. It's not even a yes or no question. Is it a domino? Mm -mm. Okay. Bethany. Okay. I just want to clarify. Is it a type of figurine? Is it, a type of, it is a type of figurine. Oh, good question. We have certified it as a type of figurine. Your guess? Is it like a, a Lego person? Oh, it's not a Lego person. Human fish. Can you participate in this? Okay. <laughs> let's do it. Is it a really small dildo? <laughs> that versus, was your yes or no question. Versus, is it a president? Is it a president? <laughs> okay, we know it's some sort of figurine. It's not a Lego. It's not a superhero. It's not a president. Anybody in the LLC want to get in on this? Is it a Smurf? Is it a Smurf? Okay, good guess. Bill Florio. Hot dog, no? Mm -mm. Dan Klein, any guesses? Uh, oh, I have a question, but can a I... question, yeah, yeah, yeah. My question is, does, it, does the figurine have to do with law enforcement? Law enforcement? Is it a <laughs> law enforcement-based figurine? Great question. <laughs> you guys, we're nailing this episode. <laughs> I'm very, very happy with how this is going. That question's going to be great when you see what it is. Microphone, microphone. Oh. That question will be great once you, you see, see what, it what it is. Ooh, is it a criminal? Is it a criminal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not law enforcement or criminal. Is it? Okay, Maxine, oh, I guess. Yes, yeah, Shannon, oh, go yeah. for it. Oh. Shannon, go for it. Yes or no? Uh, is it a weapon? It is not is a weapon. It? Hold on, hold Wait, on, hold on. So now here's my guess. Is it a tiny dildo? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a tiny dildo. We also have not talked about how there is a potential that Hot Dog could choke and die <laughs> at any point in this show. Okay, Maxine, you're very excited. Is it, is it a farmyard animal? Is it a farmyard animal? Is it an animal of some sort? It is animal based. Oh. Is it a dinosaur? Is it a dinosaur? Oh. Is it a dog? Is it a pig? Oh! oh. Shannon has won a dog! Shannon has won a dog! The paint has come off in your mouth. Hot dog, show your hands, show your hands. Don't Cover, swallow okay. that, you're swallowing paint. You're swallowing potentially lead paint. Hot dog, don't don't that. Now, Shannon, you accept that? You have to accept no, that dog. I don't dog. want it. Too you bad don't I don't want have it. my baby wipes. Real, yeah. Oh! Ew, 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 ew. Okay. I, this is going fucking awesome. I feel like it's like the finale of MASH, man. So, Hot Dog, you're going to go meet up with our head writer, Noah. You're going to get another object. Get that, get that Everyone your thinks mouth. your mouth is disgusting. Let's have some water standing by. 
lead poisoning. Now, Shannon, you did not want to accept the small dog figurine. No, it's garbage. <laughs> it's giving me bullshit. Bullsh I'm just going to throw in the trash. Shannon, I feel like... I love the game. I love the game. No, but before you said this is just an hour you want over with. <laughs> no, you said, what are you looking forward to? You said midnight. Because that means the best hour of my life is over, right? <laughs> Listen, no, this, this, is a lame, this is a lame attempt to make me not I, feel bad, retroactively. No, you're more than welcome to feel bad. <laughs> no, okay. I, just, I think this game is hilarious. But I, I'm just saying, if someone in the audience wants it, they can have it. Okay. Oh, does anybody want that dog? Does anybody yes. want? Yeah. Who wants the dog? Someone was really enthusiastic in the back. I want it. Okay, come I'm on, come forward. It, come forward. Hot dog, do you have the dog? No, it's on the ground. Okay, yeah, come here. Did you come pick here. it up? Oh, Nick Vitale, you're disgusting. Nick Vitale has picked it up, the man behind the plant. Come, you're, you're receiving this dog on behalf of Shannon. What's your name? Thank you so much. I'm Sophia. Sophia, congratulations. Thank Shannon you. won you that dog. Thank you. Thank Shannon. you for coming to the oh, Chris Gethard Show. Sophia. All right. Now, we have a very interesting call. Very interesting call right now. This is the only call that we're going to expand beyond the game. Very interesting. This young lady. Wanted to go to the prom with a member of the Chris Gethard Show community. She sent me a list of her picks. I was not on the list. <laughs> Ariel from Long Island. What are we going to talk Hi. about tonight? Hi. Hi. Um, <laughs> first of all, I sent you a revised list that was all just different versions of your name. Well, so that's... I think <laughs> you, you should know that I didn't mean any offense to no, not Ariel, include you. Ariel, you did send me a revised list that was only my name six times. <laughs> She should know once you graduate high school. Part of my responsibility to our young viewers, Shannon. Ew. Your hot teeth dog. look great. All right. Part of my responsibility to our young viewers is to introduce you to the real world. In the real world, you don't get second chances, Ariel from Long Island. Oh. You never get a oh. second chance in the real world. Ever. Thank you. Quote me on it. Thank you. Quote me on really that. You never get a second chance ever in the real world. Yeah. So what else do you want to talk about? Um. But, okay, so, yeah, you, I, you were so kind as to ask people on the list. And one person did accept. Do you want me to re reveal who that was? You can reveal it, yeah. Who was on the list first? Okay, choice one. They were ranked. <laughs> Noah Foreman, one of our head writers, our fictional head writer, oh. played by Duke Ponzetti. Duke Ponzetti <laughs> was asked. He freaked out. He was like, <laughs> he was such a baby about it. He was like, I'm like 27. <laughs> he had an aneurysm about it. It was hilarious. The rest of the writers had fun tormenting for days about that. But number two, <laughs> graciously accepted. And that number two is sitting right next to me. Andrew Hot Dog Parish is willing to go to your dormitory. Wait, but I have to, I have to, I have to, Andrew Hot Dog. Oh now, Ariel, what do you have to say about so that? so weird. This is really, this is really, <laughs> this is Ariel, what, really difficult for me to say. Really difficult? As, as I was saying for all my, I was telling all my friends, I was like, this is the weird, like resident weirdo slash hunk of the Chris Gethard show. And Undoubtedly. they all, to some extent, agreed. Mm -hmm. So um, they were all like, I, I'm very sad to say that unfortunately, upon hearing that a 26 year old man was agreeing to a prom with me, my mom said that was not a thing I could do. And I, and so, I'm Wait, really are sorry. You? Are, 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 I'm 17. You're, you're 17. Uh, would you be willing to put your mom on the phone with me right now? Yeah, hold on, hold on, wait, she's like probably sleeping, I need to wake her up. Wait, hold on. Maybe she's... <laughs> Hello? 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 She should guess what's in Andrew's mouth. She... Her, mom... her mom only gets to play the game. No, mom, all... please. Her mom only gets no, to play the game. Wait, hold on. Okay, no, mom, Ariel, we'll take our time. You just tell us when. Okay, wait, hold on. I just have to wake her up. No, don't wake her up. Don't wake her up. Don't wake her up. Don't wake her up. Yes! Wake her up. 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 Hi, it's Ari No, it's still Ariel. Hold on. Okay, okay. Cheers are erupting at the prospect of you waking up have your mom. Your mo we're going to have your mom guess what the, what's in Andrew's mouth, and the answer is going to be your daughter. Hi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, so, Chris? Yes, yes. Okay, um... <laughs> So for reasons that I guess are pretty obvious, uh, it's hard for me to convince them to go on a public access. We just, like ambush them at like 11.30 at night and be like, here, a public access show wants to talk to you. It's fair. Um, it's fair. I mean, 
I, if you'd like to talk to them at better hours, that would That's probably fair. work out. Ariel, Do you want to ask her to make a guess, and then you can? No, no. Let's stop bothering your mom. I feel like I feel like we are going to get Ariel in legitimate trouble, and she is a super sweet kid, and will be working for us this summer. So I don't want to burn that bridge when I want to. She's going to be our intern. I got to be able to to boss her around. I don't want her you mom bailing. Oh, yeah, you. we got interns, Random Maxine. Welcome to TCGS. <laughs> yeah. Ariel, while I can't give you that date, you do have a chance to win an object that's covered in Andrew's saliva, which you can then put in your own mouth and pretend you are kissing. Um, I'm going to give you three guesses. Let's give Ariel three guesses. Okay. Okay, it's oh, a totally new object. We know it. nothing about it. Three questions, three guesses. First question. Oh, God. Uh, okay, first question, I guess, is it... Made of plastic. Is it made of plastic? It is not made of plastic. First guess. Good guess. Okay. Okay. Um, so do I get like do I guess right now or can now I you ask guess some right more questions? now and you're gonna do this three uh, times. Three questions, oh, three great. guesses. Oh perfect. Um, is it like a mini hot dog, like a you know, pizza a mini blanket? Hot dog. It is not. It is not. Okay, second question. Though. We know that it's not a hot dog and it's not plastic. Second okay. question. Second question, is it edible? Is it edible? It is. It is. Oh. is it yes or no? To be eaten? He's saying slightly. That's your hint is. Uh. Okay, he's, hmm. he kind of gave a vague answer, so it seems like it's something you could eat, but maybe it's not intended to eat. You could, or it could maybe be eat. edible like a flower. Like not a lot of people eat a flower, but you can eat a flower. It's something you can. Edible like, means you can. Like it's it's a, something you would eat normally, I guess. You know, like not like like. Oh, it's in a wrapper. Many it's, things. Oh, it's, oh, it's in a wrapper. We just found out it's in a wrapper, Ariel. Do you have a guess? A second guess. Um. Hmm. Okay. Is it? Um, a fortune cookie. A fortune cookie. Oh, great guess. Okay, third question, third <laughs> guest, Ariel. I want oh, you God. to win some of this sweet hot really dog saliva. I really want to win. Just because I can't, unfortunately, take him to prom, which I I'm know. very sad about. I'd like to reiterate. That's okay. Um, You'll have, just have to go with some high school dude. Yeah, it's going to be really lame. Woo. I'll Photoshop him in the pictures. <laughs> she's going to Photoshop him over her date. No, she's... Yeah, exactly. She just said she is. I can't wait to see those pictures. Ariel, last question, um, last guess. Let's do it. We know it's in a wrapper. Okay. You know it's in a wrapper. Um, okay. Is... Hi. Um, is it something you can get out of, like, one of those, uh, what's it called, like, coin vending machine can things? You get like, it out you of know, a vending gumball machine? machine? Like a gumball machine. Gumball machine. Yeah, like one of those yeah. things. You can. Yeah? It's in a... Uh, she's so close. You're so close. Oh, my God. It's in a wrapper. You can get it out of a vending machine. Hmm. Oh, God. Um... Uh, <laughs> 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 Uh, if you're watching, hold on, Ariel. If you're watching the show right now, look at Shannon. She is mouthing the correct answer to you. Oh, is it a gumball? <laughs> it, That's it, what Shannon was mouthing, and you said she knows. What, what did she? She said gumball. She, she said gumball. Gum? Is it gum? Yes, it's, it's gum. gum. Ariel, you have one gum. Yay! Yay! You can chew this gum. You can chew this gum on the right. You can chew this gum on the we're gonna mail that out to you, Ariel. Congratulations, Yay. you have one oh gun. So that was happy. one thin hot dog mouth. <coughs> All right, no, Thank where you. am I going? Take a call. Take a call. Okay, oh. wait. You need to get a new object. I need to get a new object. We don't have an object. How can we take calls? Oh. How are you guys feeling about this episode? I feel like we're Great. fucking oh. crushing it right it's now. Yeah. 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 I feel like this is like our Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> like our episode that. Ev Oh, that wrapper just looks that really... Uh, I don't get why everybody's so grossed out by the human body and the substances within it, frankly. <laughs> well, you can have disease in your saliva. Yeah. Yeah, but Hot Dog's one of us, man. He's part have of the game. caught a cold? I've caught a cold, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bethany, you're going to be our first question and guess on this round. Yeah, what's over there? We're going to do a quick round around this. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, is it hard? Is it hard? It's hard. Okay, first guess. Is it a golf ball? Is it a golf ball? <laughs> Looks pretty big, though. No. <laughs> it's pretty big. Maxine, question and guess. Is it metal? Is it metal? Parts of it are. Parts of it are metal. Guess. Um, um, is it a pair of tweezers? It's a pair of tweezers. All right. Human, <laughs> human fish, do your thing. Is it a slightly bigger dildo? <laughs> <laughs> slightly built, bigger dildo. That's his yes or no question. It is not a slightly bigger dildo. Versus? Versus... Is it a slightly bigger pierced dildo? It's a slightly bigger pierced dildo. Human fish is being real weird tonight. Okay, Shannon, your question and your guess. Uh, is it a miniature version of something I can sit inside of? Is it a miniature version of something I can sit inside of? 
Wow. No, okay. it's not. A fascinating look into how Shannon's brain works. Uh, is it a... Um, is it a, a woman's breast? Is it a woman's breast? Is there a woman's breast in your mouth? <laughs> Dan Klein, Dan Klein <laughs> focusing real hard. I am, yes. You look like you want to win. I, I, yeah, it'd be, it'd be nice to, to leave as a winner. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, is, it a, is it like an office supply? It's an office. It's, it's oh. maybe. It's something that so could be. You use it in an office. It could be found in an office. Huge can clue callers. It be found in an office. Parts of it are made of metal. It is not a pierced oh. dildo. Somebody have it? Somebody said it, apparently no, in the no crowd. Dan, your guess? Um, Someone got shot. That's what we're doing. You can use it uh, uh, like a pen cap. A pen? Is it a pen? Oh, no, it's too big. Never mind. It's okay. a sharpener. Okay. I didn't realize how big it is. And also Hold on. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah. Callers, you just heard a lot of information. Process that. Megan from... Oh, no, no, no. Josh from Long Island, you're up next. Process everything you've just heard. Get ready with your question and your guest. In the meantime, we are super psyched to welcome our musical guest tonight. This is the album they've already put out. They're writing their new one right now. You should track down all of the information on all of these things. Procure that music through whatever way you can. And in the meantime, I will also say this. They sound checked before. Easily the loudest band that has ever played on TCGS. If their sound check is to be believed, let's everybody get up, dance, celebrate the greatness of this episode so far as we welcome Symbols E Guitars! <laughs> Enjoyed it. Rob Malone, the world's greatest dancer, you were getting down on that side of the room. 
Yeah, nice. All right, Symbols Eat Guitars. We'll be back with more later. Put Let that in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead. Put that Reiterate, we know the two important things we learned are parts of it are metal. You can find it in an office. Josh from Long Island, you're up. What's your question and your guess? What does Hot Dog have in his mouth? Welcome to the greatest episode of The Chris Gether Show. <laughs> Hey, Chris, what's up? I just want to say thanks for uh, wishing me a happy birthday oh, on Twitter. Hey, Josh, happy birthday, man. I, I'll do it on the phone, too. <laughs> um, thanks. Um, <laughs> all right, so I was thinking, and all right, does it have liquid inside of it? Mm -mm. It does not have liquid inside of it. Great question, Josh. Now, what is your guess? I hope you win this birthday present from Hot Dog <sighs> Parish. How old are you, by the way? I'm 20. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, What's your guess? I'm gonna go with a stapler. What? Is it a stapler? No. Oh, it is not, Josh. I'm sorry. Your birthday will be spent without presents. <laughs> Megan in Ohio, welcome back to the show. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. You get a question. You get a guess. It's uh, made of metal. We know that it does not have liquid inside of it. it. Can be found in an office. Question and guess. Is it plastic? Mm -hmm. Parts of it, we know. There's some, there's some plastic. There's some metal. <clears throat> like a paper clip? Is it a paper clip? It is not a paper clip. Mm -hmm. Megan from Ohio. A hush is. Okay, okay. You smell like a binder clip, or? Okay, okay. Let's go ahead. Calstead, welcome back to the show. <laughs> you work all day, caffeine feeling ouch. It's not good to come home to your friend the cash. Calstead, welcome back. You get a question, you get a guess. Hey, how you doing, Mr. Chris? Um, this is Chuck Dad. I'm pretty, I'm pretty good, man. I'm glad to hear from you, my friend. Oh, yeah. Well, I just want to say hi to Mr. Zebu National, and I want to announce that me, Sarah Lane Lee, I'm Sal, and Mr. Metzger's drinking peanut colonics because we're celebrating Mrs. Barbara Stryzen's birthday. All right, happy birthday. Barbara Streisand. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Well, it's a lot like Hanukkah, but instead of celebrating it for eight nights, we only celebrate it for one. It's like a one night Hanukkah. <laughs> Calstead, you strange, wonderful man. We do you have know, to play this game. What's your question? What's your guess? Oh, okay. Well, is it something that Miss Barbara Streisand would have in her mall where she told all her stuff? Would Barbara Streisand have it? Where? In something, in something where, where? where? In, the, in the mall that she like has as a replica. Oh, item. probably not. In her replica mall. She probably oh, would not have not. it in her mall. Oh, okay. Well, um, 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 is it a friendship ring? Is it a friendship <laughs> ring? <laughs> it is not, but you may not talk really that hard. <laughs> Calstead, thank you for the call. Okay, any of our panelists have a guess? Can I see if I have a question. <laughs> okay. Barbara Streisand's <laughs> replica mall. What, what is this? Who knows? What no, don't. About? No, the man behind the plant wants to get into it <laughs> <laughs> and explain the whole thing. Hey, you football. know what? We're in the middle of what I can say is undoubtedly the best episode we've ever had. And, and if we, look, if we start letting him, that Hallie, he apparently knows about. I trust <laughs> you, Hallie, and I trust you, Maxine. To but Google if this if this guy starts talking, we have run a real risk of ruining our greatest <laughs> episode. <laughs> He is a jerk face. I agree. It was not about me, and we all know it. Human fish, you're with me, right? I don't know, Crab, what do you say? Who votes against it? All right, well, let him explain Barbara Streisand's mall. Give him the mic, and if it ruins the show, don't blame me, because right now, we have been. This is like the fucking LeBron James of public access shows. <laughs> Barbara Streisand has like a replica mall in her house that like she shops at with like all the stores Fuck, that she we likes. Fuck, ruined it. That's it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. My entire explanation. Get, Fuck. Can I get a hint? That was... was... No. No hints, no. man. Right. No Let's hints. Out of your mouth. Anybody have a guess? I'm gonna be here a while I have... A, can I ask a question? Let's do it yeah. quick. Okay. Um, Holy shit, the man behind the plant just ruined this episode. <laughs> does, it, does it work to like... Fix things? I mean, he was tool? so bad. <laughs> he was so bad. It was 
Dan, I'm really sorry you came all the way up to Harlem. Yeah, yeah, I'm sort of, if someone could just get my mic. (laughs) What was that, Bethany? I'm sorry. It's just the man behind the plant just threw me off my game. I said so is much. Used to fix is it a tool? Is it used, yeah, to, well, used to, fix not to fix things? Is it used to tear things apart? No. Give me like a, a give me a verb super score, like five verbs. What? Is it used to open things? Is it used to clean? No. Is it like a thimble type no. thing? No. Is it used to bind? No. Is it a hairless hamster? <laughs> <laughs> this is technology you wouldn't have had. Ten years ago. Is, is it, it a used to hamster? store information? Oh, is, it? is it a USB drive? A flash drive? I want. I want more specific. Okay. It's used to store information. Wait, what is it like? Is it like a Homer Simpson shaped USB drive or no. something? No. <laughs> it's like a chip. Okay, wait. Human fish. One more, and then we're gonna go to the phones. This is a metallic fart. <laughs> is it a metallic <laughs> fart. We have just found out that in the sea. All offices have hairless hamsters and metallic parts. <laughs> Harry in Massachusetts, a lot of clues coming out. We just found All out right. it's something that can be, um, fa- that stores is the information. Is the majority of it metal? Is the majority of it metal? No. No. It stores information. Uh, is it a floppy disk? <laughs> It's not a thumb drive. <laughs> I mean, let me, I think that she's right, drive. but I just want more specifically what kind of USB so drive. So it's a type of USB drive? It's a type of USB drive. Andrew in Ohio, we know it's a type of USB drive, but Hot Dog wants it to be more specific, which is insane to me. Give me one more guess. <laughs> one more guess. Andrew in Ohio, a question and a guess. Um, um, is it like a USB 2.0? A USB 2.0? Uh, is, well, it, uh, is, it, is it a USB drive, like in the shape of something from a TV show? Yeah, from Revolution. <laughs> Flash drive from Revolution you know what? Show. Now, Shannon, are you, are you still of the opinion this is a Revolution Flash drive, just like the television revolution we are enacting here today? Gigabytes. Eight I, gigabytes. I now, have that at home Shannon guessed, and she doesn't want it. So Andrew in Ohio, are you still on the line? No. Nope. Now why'd we hang up? <laughs> give it to that birthday kid. We hung up on the guy before I could give it to him. Don't hang up on the. This whole Don't, show. It's okay. Have you, the, we, I'm just gonna point out. Email, message boards. That bullshit wasn't happening before the man behind the plant got involved. <laughs> it wasn't happening. And you can, everybody can awe and say and I'm, that I pick on the guy as much as you want, but it's tough love. It's real tough love. Where's the love, love aspect? Of Where's the love aspect of this? If I ever leave this show for Hollywood, you might have to be the next host, man. I'm trying to toughen you up. I'm trying to toughen you up. If I ever have to leave, we're gonna have a contest. We're gonna have a contest, and I've got about a dozen contestants in my mind for who gets to replace me, and you're on the list, so I'm trying to toughen you up. All right, now Andrew's getting a new object in his mouth. Dan, you haven't won anything yet. Are you feeling good or bad? It feels like you know. It feels like everything's against me right now. Uh, it's a really hard game. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I, I don't know how much I like the game. <laughs> no one of your problems with the game. It just so it could be anything, <laughs> and then nothing happens. Like it just ha- and then it just happens again. <laughs> so and you're it, saying it just a- keeps get, it doesn't. Get, <laughs> It doesn't. It just stays hard the whole time. <laughs> so you're saying it's a direct combination of frustrating and anticlimactic. Yes. <laughs> okay, Maxine, Bethany, you haven't won anything either. Shannon has won twice and given up her gifts. Does that make you mad? Do you wish? Are there any other things? Did you want that dog, that flash drive? I think I'm gonna take a new strategy because it can be anything. I'm just gonna keep willing it to be what I want it okay. to be. Okay, so why don't you start this round off? Andrew's got a new so... object. Off. He is giggling about this new object in his mouth. <laughs> Maxine, what do you so want to I'm will it to be? Erin in New York, you're Pretty up next much. on the phone, so get ready so with your question and your guess. Secret herself inside his mouth. Okay. <laughs> Maxine, let's do it. What's your question? Um, What's your guess? So is it is it useful? Is it useful? No. No. <laughs> it is not useful. What is your guess? Is it a Swiss Army knife? Is it a sw- that's the most useful. Thing. <laughs> that's the most <laughs> useful thing. <laughs> Is that a useful <laughs> army knife? But, Maxine, what, but, if I, but if I, that's what I want to win. So, that. so you want it to win? Okay, all right. I get what your strategy is. Erin in New York, your question and your guess. Hey, uh, is it made of plastic? It's made. It is not made of plastic, and it is not useful. Erin, what is your guess? Royce in North California, you're up next. Erin, what's your guess? Going once. We hung up on her before 
She, she just heard it wasn't plastic and she's like, fuck it, I don't want it. She has a guess right there. Okay, you have a guess. This young lady in the audience has a guess. Is it the core of a pear? Oh. Everybody wants it to be a pear. Hey, Royce in Northern California, Royce from San Francisco-ish, you post on the message board. How are you? What is your question? What is your guess? Hi, how's it going? Um, I'm just I'm checking the Rats Carlton to see what they think. Uh, they oh. want to know, is it bigger than a bread box? <laughs> is it bigger than a bread box? <laughs> it is not. They say, Andrew says, fuck you. And what is your guess? <laughs> what is your guess? What do you think? Dude. Um, is it a marble? Rice, your guess. I did see on the message board, you posted a picture of yourself is eating... Is it a marble? Is no. it a marble? Mm -mm. Now, wait, Rice, you on the message board put a picture of yourself eating a bunch of Taco Bell wrapped in a whole pizza, right? Yeah, yeah, that was me. That was really fucked up. Let's go to Fred in Hawaii. <laughs> go to Fred in Hawaii. Fred in Hawaii, who once sent us Lay's for the, for the Vacation Jason Luau show. Hi, Fred. Fred, how are you? How's it going, man? It's good to hear from you again. You got a question and a guess. Yeah, uh, first and foremost, is there a designated lifesaver there that can do a Heimlich? Like, we have not even spoken about it. <laughs> I can. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, great. Fred, you'll be happy to hear that the man behind the plan is CPR trained. I could do, I could do it on myself like um, a hot dog could do it like Miranda in that episode of Sex in the, in the City. Oh, yeah, that, episode where, that one episode of one Sex in the City. That made everyone know about Great. Sex in the City. Fred, I want to thank you for, for I want to thank you for putting the ball back in the man behind the plants court. Fred, what's your question and your guess? I hope you don't win. Uh, is it? Wow, Jesus. Uh, is it phallic? Is it phallic? You're gonna laugh when you see it. no, it's not. It is not it. phallic, and you will laugh about having asked. Because you asked that. Oh. Well, I'm not gonna get it right, so I'm just gonna get my digs in. You look like an evil Matt Damon. Uh, <laughs> uh, I fucking love Fred. I fucking love Fred, man. Fred is so, consistently great. Why evil, though? Evil Matt Damon, you look... Why did he have to get yeah, yeah, you yeah, like all yeah, kinds yeah. of... So you can do us a call. Fred! 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 All right, LLC, any, any guesses? Um, I'm gonna say that's a... Oh. <laughs> hey, again, I guess. Oh, yeah, Fred, okay. Oh, uh, is it like a crossing guard's whistle? Is it a crossing guard's no. whistle? Okay, it is not, Fred. Great guess, great call. LLC, Can we guess? recap what we know about it? We, yeah. Almost nothing. It's not it's plastic. Not metal. It's, it's not metal. Not a, it's not, not a, a Swiss Army knife. It's, it's not, not useful. useful. It's not a pocket knife. I will say it's phallic by association. It is phallic by association. Oh, Mimi immediately had a guess from that. Okay. Is it the morning after pill? Is it the morning after pill? <laughs> Are you holding the morning after pill in your mouth? Fantastic guess, Mimi. It is not the morning after pill. So you could get pregnant tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Is it a condom? Is it a condom? No. No, but he hesitated. It's, it's, not, it's not as associative as you're thinking. Okay, two on the nose, Hallie. It's rubber. No. Okay, Johnny is wants to know if they made a rubber, not rubber. The morning after pill. It is I, not mean, after I mean the date rape pill. Is it GHB? <laughs> Have you been dosed with GHB? <laughs> Bethany wants to know. See, everybody thinks Bethany's real sweet, but she thinks of shit like that. No. Okay, let's go to the phones. Fletch from Asbury. We know that it is phallic by association. Your question and your guess. Um, let's see. Uh, is it rubber? We just heard it's not rubber. What is your guess? Fletch, what is your guess? Um, I'm gonna go with some... Fletch, what is lighter. your guess? A lighter? No. Yeah. It is not a lighter. Thank you for playing Thanks. the game. Fletch, let's go to Vinny in Ohio. A question and a guess. Uh, um, is it made of Play-Doh? Is it made of <laughs> Is it made of Play-Doh? It is not made of Play-Doh, Vinny in Ohio. What is your guess? Oh, it's, oh, it's Vinny. Um, I'm going to guess um, not made of metal or plastic or, Play or rubber. Um, uh, is it, I don't even, can't even think of another okay. substance. Another substance, substance in the world, So, Vinny, you got to make a guess or we got to move on. Yep. It's made of cotton. It's made of cotton. We just found yeah, out. Um, I'm going to go of with. Made of fabric. Made of fabric. Um, 
Is it a thong? Is it a pipe cleaner? Is it a pipe cleaner? The notoriously made of fabric pipe cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is a, not. Is it, a, is it a jock strap? Is it a jock you're strap? So, you're so, so close. close. Oh, is, it is it panties? Is it women's panties? It's something that an observation that you made earlier in this very room. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> the whole crowd. Is it a baby wipe? Everyone just direct your attention. Before the show. Is it a. Oh, is it Ew. part of Hot Dog's costume? Is it part of Banana Man's uh, outfit? I mean. Oh. Yeah. Why'd you do that? Why'd you do what? Why'd you cut the dick hole out of your banana costume? Put it in his mouth. <laughs> banana man, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Banana man. 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 While we're waiting for Hot Dog to come back, I want to call back our friend Hot... Forty-year-old Goosey is here. How are you, Goosey? I'm good. I'm good. Let's get Goosey in the mic. Goosey, we haven't seen you in a while. Have you been traveling through time? Have you been working in your office? Yeah. What's been up? Yeah, sorry I've been gone for a couple no, years. No, that's okay. Uh, I, I, yeah. It's just been a couple months, actually. Oh, okay. I, I get mixed up. You're a baby time lord. Yeah, we understand. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, but it's good to be back. Yes, great yeah. to see you. <laughs> Do you want to start off our first question and guess on the subject? His, his, uh, foot, his foot. Yeah, oh, Goosey's that's... foot's real fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> the keeper of the battle dome, and you've been going on some adventures, it's a huh? It's tits, it's tits. We can't get into it right okay, now. Okay, yeah, fair. Yeah. Let's go ahead. Our first question and our guest <clears throat> comes via the junior time lord known as 40-year-old Goosey. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, is it yellow? Is it yellow? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's, it's causing him pain. Oh, wow. It's bad? Oh, bad. <laughs> oh, bad. It's, it's big. big. It's very big. <laughs> we just learned that it's big. What is your guess? Oh, oh man. Um, <laughs> is it an iPod? Is it an iPod? <laughs> it is not an iPod. Great guess, Goosey. Right, right. Is it Great something scene. folded up? Is it something what? folded up? It's folded up. Shannon's on top of her is shit. It, is it a whole shirt? Is it a whole shirt? <laughs> Greenfish doesn't know if it's a whole shirt. Let's go to Richard in New York. Richard in New York, what is your question and your guess? Um, is it a toy? Is it a toy? Oh, no. No. Oh, he said, oh, no. Oh, no. What is your guess? Is it one of those little plastic coin purses? Po a plastic coin purse? It is not a plastic coin purse. Let's go to Jesse in Boston. I believe this is our friend, X Lion Tamer. How are you? Yes, that's me. Hi, how are you guys? I'm good. Good to see you. You've been posting on the message board like a mad woman. What is your question and your guess? Um, is it, does it taste good? I think I know the answer. Does it taste good? <laughs> well. No. No, it does not taste good. What is your guess? Um, uh, is it a hockey puck? Is it a hockey puck? Is it a folded up hockey puck? <laughs> it's a fold, we know that it is folded up, great. <laughs> Playing Jesse from Boston, you have lost. Let's go to Jeremy in Binghamton. Is this Jeremy K? Hey, what's up? Is this Jeremy K? Yes. Yeah. This guy's making his own uh, public access show on campus. Okay. Oh, I've been watching it. I've been watching it. I gave him, uh, I said on the message board, it's got a lot of heart, needs some work. Yeah. But it's getting, it's getting there. It's getting there. What? You really appreciate it. You can play actually. this game. If, Jeremy, if you want to really nail it, play this game. Franchise. <laughs> <laughs> well, but it's good. I like it. I like your show. On our show today, we had a gay kid just squeezing boobs. Gay kids That's squeezing boobs. That's great. <laughs> sounds, yeah. sounds, very, sounds very college-like. Okay, so Jeremy, yeah. real quick, we know it's folded up. It's very large. A question, a guest, and then we do have to move on. Uh, is it any sort of cloth is again? It, is it cloth? It is not cloth, but it is folded up. Uh, um, is it a pocket knife? Oh is it a pocket oh knife? No, Sorry, and Hot Dog did just burp while holding it in his mouth. So to our lucky winner, congrats on that. In the meantime, they tore the roof off the place before. Let's welcome them back. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get up. Let's dance twice as hard. Let's have twice as much fun with Symbols e Guitar. Feelings leading, false lives glaze and fever clouded. Big 
Guitars. Would you like to make our next guess as to what is in Hot Dog's mouth? A question and a guess. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, he's putting it back in his mouth. We know it's not made of fabric, but it is folded. Is it? Is it? A, is it a, like a matchbox? Like no? I don't know, man. Sorry. <laughs> That's fair. You guys were great. Simmel's e guitar was awesome. People went crazy. Hallie from the LLC was embracing Goosey at the end. Beef Jerky had his shirt off. <laughs> Fucking ran. Orlando <laughs> punched me in the face. <laughs> you did. You boogie hooked me in my eye, man. True or false? Shit happens in the pit. Shit happens in the pit. Shit happens in the pit. Dan Klein, I really want you to win one. I'm going to give you three guesses. Uh, well, uh, is it paper? Mm -hmm. It's paper. All right, so is it like a po Is it a poster? Is it a poster? Mm -hmm. OK. I have to guess it's a specific <laughs> poster. <laughs> you won a poster. No, wait. Dan Klein, OK. It's more than just a poster. Oh, it's more than just a poster. Dan Klein, you own this. You it's now own this. The liner notes for the Kanye West produced Cruel Summer album. <laughs> Dan Klein, you have won the liner notes the album. of Kanye West. Congratulations. I'm really Thank happy you so you're much. a part of this show. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> It smells. It smells. Can, can you smell it? It smells versus. It doesn't smell. <laughs> <laughs> who wins? Who wins? It smells. It smells. It smells like my mouth. Now, Hot Dog has already placed one more object in his mouth. Jackie in Philly, do you want to have a question Perfect. and a guess? Jackie in Philly. Oh, does he already have something in his mouth? He has placed another object oh, in his mouth is? already oh. due to the crack oh. planning of Emma and Duke Ponzetti. Awesome. Um. Is it a children's toy? Is it a children's toy? <laughs> no. No. He, he said no and he giggled at the thought. Um, is it a mini dildo? A mini dildo, finally. <laughs> Everybody wants it to be a mini dildo so bad. It is not, Jackie, thank you, Blake. for a mouse. Let's go to Hona. Let's go to Hona in California. It could be a dildo for a mouse. Okay, it could be a dildo for a mouse. Okay, Hona in California, your question and your guess. Hona, actually, but whatever. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, what did you say, Gary? I said Hana, it's Hana. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I feel bad. No, okay. it's fine. I, I guess I was okay. a... I guess I'll, I was I'll a jerk. Ask me, what it, ask me about it. Anyway, um, can I ask Max, can I tell Maxine something before I guess? No. Okay, you know what, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> you call up, you yell at me, and you don't even want to play the game. 
Goodbye, Hannah. What he sham? in Harlem. Hello. Hey, um, all right. Is it, is it metallic? Is it metallic? No. No, it's not metallic. All right, is it a car playing card? Is it a playing card? Great guess. It was not the right answer, unfortunately, but thank you for playing. Eric in Asbury. I cannot believe we're getting this many calls on this topic. This is insane. Hey. Eric, your question, your guess. All right, is it pirate themed? Is it pirate themed? <laughs> <laughs> That's ballsy how specific you're being. It is not. I, I'm taking it. No, it's it is well, not. Well, I don't know what to guess, so I'm just going to ask is it a bite sized dildo? A fun sized dildo? It's a fun sized dildo. <laughs> no. Is okay. it a dildo for a mouse with a <laughs> okay. <little> camera? <laughs> Is there even such a thing as a mini dildo? A mini dildo. I think our I audience can't... is trying to will that into existence. <laughs> yes, yes. Tony in New York, your question, your guess. Hello. Is it a commonly found object in the home? Oh, great question, sure. Tony. It, sure, it is. It's a commonly yeah. found object in the home. What is your guess? Like a goof time dildo? <laughs> <laughs> okay. We just found out it is not a goof time dildo. <laughs> Tony, what is your guess? Uh, I, uh, I didn't hear the answer. Is it a commonly found object? It is. It can be found in the it home. Is. It it's is. not a cock. It's not. It's not cock related. <laughs> we are mm. ending strong. Is it? Is it a? Is it a bottle cap? A bottle cap. No. No, it is not. Wait. Thank you for playing, Tony. Stop, Let's go oh, to well. Nicholas in Alabama. Nicholas in Alabama, welcome to the show. Is it an article of clothing? It's an article of clothing. It's on articles of clothing. It is on articles of clothing. Oh. It is not an article of clothing, but it is on them. Mm. We have a minute 15 left. Nicholas, what is, is your guess? Is it a shoelace? A shoelace. No. Great guess, Nicholas. Thank you for playing. Max in Philly, <laughs> welcome to the show. About a minute left. Max, what's your question? What's your guess? <laughs> Who's on the is phone? Is it a stationary toothbrush? Is it a stationary toothbrush? <laughs> a toothbrush that's what? You, you just put it and then you it move your mouth? <laughs> it is not. <laughs> It is not. Okay. Thank you. Let's go to Rob in Brooklyn. Rob in Brooklyn. I think I got it. Yo, is it a strap on a watch? Is it a strap on a watch? Shannon is the queen of this game. Shannon is the queen of this game. You don't want it? Shannon, you don't want it? What kind of button is it? A button. A white two hole button. Okay. We gotta go. Rob in Brooklyn, email us. We'll get you that button. Ladies and gentlemen, the LLC, let's hear it for Symbols E Guitars. Let's hear it for our friend of yours, Hot Dog Paris. Thank God, Shannon O'Neill, the human fish, and the Maxine, Bethany Hall, meet me on the web, and no one else. <laughs> no one. And the man behind the plan, I guess. Thank you all for playing and calling. Dan, how are you feeling? I saw Murph propose on this show. Yes. And I just did that. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> My contribution. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, live stream. We love you guys. You're the best. Thank you for spreading the word. <laughs>